Greetings everyone, and welcome to my coin collection. Today's coins are a set that I obtained from the Swiss Mint. This 2019 annual set is the first part of a three-part series where the packaging and the design of the 10 franc coin is based on Swiss forest animals. In the previous three years, from 2016 to 2018, the theme each year was alpine flowers. As you can see, this year's animal is the European or Western roe deer. According to Britannica, the Capriolus capriolus, also called the roe buck, is a small graceful Eurasian deer well adapted to cold environments. Roe deer are widespread in Switzerland, mainly in the middle land and the foothills of the Alps. They are very shy animals which flee, bolting high and far at the slightest smell of danger. Adult roe deer measure between 93 and 140 centimetres tall and have a shoulder height of between 54 and 84 centimetres. They weigh between 11 kilos and 34 kilos, depending on their nutritional status. Roebucks have antlers, whereas female roe deer, or doe, do not. As ruminants, roe deer are exclusively herbivores that prefer high energy and nutrient rich plants. As you can see from the specifications on the back, there are eight coins in the set. The 5, 10 and 20 centime, or rappen if you come from the German speaking part of Switzerland, and the half, 1, 2, 5 and 10 franc. Most of the coins are 75% copper, 25% nickel. However, the 5 centime and the outer edge of the bimetallic 10 franc are 92% copper, 6% aluminium and 2% nickel. The coins were released with the roe deer on the 24th of January 2019. The set comes in either uncirculated, as this is, or proof sets. Unlike some mints, the Swiss Mint only issues a small number of commemorative coins per year featuring, as they say, carefully selected subjects. They tend to come in 10 or 20 franc denominations, although this value is nominal because there are also notes in the same denominations, and these coins are meant as gifts or for collectors. The coins of the Swiss franc are the official coins used in Switzerland and Liechtenstein. The name Swiss franc was originally given to a silver coin minted in Bern from 1757 and later also in Basel, Solothurn and Lucerne. The modern Swiss franc was introduced in 1850, two years after the formation of Switzerland as a federal state, and the federal law establishing the new currency was passed on the 7th of May in that year. For practical reasons, the Swiss franc was initially created as having parity with the French franc of the day, with one franc equivalent to five grams of silver at 90% purity. The original series of coins introduced in 1850 consisted of nine denominations. To this were added three denominations of gold coins in 10, 20 and 100 francs between 1897 and 1925. The 1 and 2 centime coins were retired from circulation in 2007 and 1978, respectively. The gold coins have never been officially retired, but they're not in circulation as their gold value far exceeds their denomination. Therefore, there remain seven different denominations in regular circulation. The first coins of the Swiss franc were minted in Paris, in Brussels and Strasbourg, until the former cantonal mint of Bern was made ready to begin production as a federal mint. The half, one and two franc coins show a standing figure of the national personification Helvetia, pictured in a flowing gown with a spear and a shield emblazoned with the Swiss coat of arms. She has braided hair and a wreath as a symbol of confederation. The name is a derivation of the ethnonym Helvetii, the name of the Gaulish tribe inhabiting the Swiss plateau prior to the Roman conquest. It was designed by Albert Walsh in 1860. The original plates were cut by Geneva medalist Antoine Bovy, whose name appears on each of these coins. The 5, 10 and 20 centime coins show a head of liberty in profile, designed by Carl Schwenzer in 1879. The 5 franc coin on the obverse shows a portrait of an alpine herdsman, Al Herta, designed by Paul Burkhardt in 1922. The 10 franc coin was designed by Naomi Gievold, who has been running her own studio as a graphic artist and designer since 2004. In 2013, she created illustrations for four Swiss postage stamps on the theme of Swiss wildlife. In the center of this design 
is the head of a roe deer in profile to the left. In the background are the ribs of a leaf and a small full picture of the deer in a circle. The hoof marks of a roe deer are also recognisable on the outer ring to the left of the scientific name Capriolus, while on the right is the name Givald. The coin weighs 15 grams, has a diameter of 33 millimetres and a mintage of 28,000 pieces. On the reverse, the 5, 10 and 20 centime coins feature the confederation wreath surrounding their respective denominations. The half, 1 and 2 franc coins feature the same wreath but also the year of mintage as well as the denomination. The 5 franc has a much smaller version of the wreath with the denomination at the top and year of mintage at the bottom surrounding the federal shield. We can't see it in this packaging but the edge of the 5 franc has an inscription in relief, Dominus Providibit, meaning the Lord will provide, with 13 stars in groups of 10 and 3. And this is also found on the edge of the 10 franc. The 10 franc reverse, I think, is quite striking. The words Confederatio on the outer rim to the left and Helvetica on the inner rim to the right surround the Swiss cross near the top of the inner portion of the coin. At the bottom is the number 10, with the B mint mark for burn. Below, on the outer rim, is the FR for franc, with the 2019 year of mintage running up the right-hand side of the outer rim. Those words, Confederatio Helvetica, the neologized Latin name for the Swiss Federation, are the reason the currency is known by the initials CHF in currency trading, and why the two-letter reference to Switzerland is CH. I certainly enjoyed finding out more about these coins. If you did too, please like and leave a comment down below. And subscribe if you want to see more of my coin collection.